okay welcome everyone let's we'll start our uh, new modules which is uh, advanced business research method so today lesson because this lesson will almost you know discuss all our learning outcome and uh, hope so you have a good little basic understanding all if not you know we already set up some lessons on moodle which is cover lo1 separately lo2 lo3 lo4 and so please go through those slides and the slide which i'll go through with you quick you know today lesson so today lesson will be focus on lo1 and lo4 which is just one lesson being set up so it's just give you the basic understanding how we can do research and we'll discuss some methods some techniques so please if you want to book separate or uh, any particular area so just let me know then we can book uh, so advanced business research method so is a business research method what technique what method we can use to do research in business so let's you know we'll start so before starting we'll go to our learning outcome what we're supposed to learn advanced business research methods uh, level 7 of course is a criteria pass or refer and uh, for learning outcome be able to develop research objectives so first of all when you do research you always need to set the objective what is meant by objective any thought about objective or how we can define in a word in the objective well what, what we want to achieve yes brilliant what really we want to be achieve so objective mean end result end of course of action what we want to be achieved okay so research objective can be think about we want to launch a new product we want to do a research on it yes we want to solve a problem we have a problem in a business we want to solve and we want to do research because our market shares are dropping our customer satisfaction are dropping and now we want to improve the that's we have a problem and that we want to be solve that problem and we need to do research for it so research can be problem solving research can be exploring new ideas yes so different behind is objective so always you need to go through objective what really you want to do end of research so our lo1 is all about the objective and the business problem we have how we can analyze how we can address them second lo which is lo2 is all about the literature so we'll go to lo2 is the literature where we can get the literature what are the literature approaches we can use so is a separate handout on just on the literature lo2 on moodle so please if you want to go through you can go through which is uh, more self explanatory so read literature so think about where we can get the literature why we need a literature so always your literature need to link with your objective so if you your objective to pass your um, and your objective to be solve the problem of course you need a literature on it you can need to get the some information where we can get the information it can be we can get the information through internet we can get the information through reading books journal article so all this is called literature and literature will help you know to develop our understanding about the problem and we, there are the a lot of theory those help to solve the problem so which we can use the literature okay lo3 is a methodologies research method which method you will use you want quantitative research and qualitative research anybody knows what is the difference between quantitative and qualitative one is one is just theory based one is practically based i think the the qualitative is looking at the the theory quantitative is analyzing factual well yes so quantitative with the numbers and qualitative with the quality of it is without numbers yes 
where we just getting the information that's a quantitative and qualitative so it depends what your research method you will use Be or okay before choosing the research method always go through the research objective because method need to be because end of the day you want to achieve your objective so then you can go through primary research secondary research you want to do the questionnaire yourself or you want to use the information which already published or you want to use both in your research because end of the day your objective to solve the problem and that's you know is crucial is all the objective of the research to solve the problem or explore something so always go for objective then the sampling technique which sampling method you will use you will use quantitative uh, you will use the probability sampling or non probability sampling so always we need to go through the sampling method then then you go LO4. LO4 is all about learning outcome four, where we need to prepare the proposal. So any research when you want to be is always good idea. You make the proposal. So if you have a proposal, you can do properly research on it. If we don't have a proposal, the proposal will provide the party. Okay. Any question? No. That's all our learning outcome which we supposed to. Uh, address in this lesson, uh, this assignment, and let's you know, start. Hello everyone, let's we'll start. My name is Anjum Satar. My, my email address is here in case if you need me. So ask me, okay, uh, I, we are, you know, about aims and objective. So, LO1, we discuss this objective. And Raise business research problem and develop research objective. So always we need to go through the with the research objective. So let's you know we'll start. Okay. And then objective. These terms often use we use. Can you explain the difference between aims and objective? Anybody knows what is the difference between aims and objective? M, what what to be investigated? An M is a statement what is to be achieved by success of completion of the dissertation. If you're doing, an M should be expressed in one or two sentence. Focus rather than general, analytical, and not simply investigative. Okay, objective. Explain how the investigation is to carried out. They must underpin the aim, guide the intended process, be achievable, be measurable, be realistic. Objective always need to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time defined. If your objective is not, so it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Write aims and objective. Choose verb which allow you to achieve your aims. For example, in a life. Evaluate, assess, determine, compare, and contrast. Discuss. Discuss. Avoid. Describe. So we need to look around these. Then aims. So I'm going to share with you the aims. Like this is the one of example to determine whether the UK should remain a member of European Union. That's my aim of this research, what I want to, and my objective of this research to review the literature on EU, to evaluate the cost and benefit of EU members, to conduct the primary research into view on EU membership, to make recommendation about uh, the future of UK membership of EU. So, so we need to go. Through. Any question? No. Okay. So, like other, uh, evaluate the impact of Criminal Record Bureau (CBR) uh, CRB. 
Disclosure Services had a recruitment team and their practices at the Calderdale Social Services Task Force to determine how the problem experienced by. So we need to be find the N and then you set the objective. Yes, these are the objective can be to review critically analyze the literature on CRB to devise and imp uh, implement the appropriate research method can can be objective. So when you decide your know, research, always rational thinking, exam, uh, think and reflect your own strength and interest. Looking at the past project title, discussion, searching literature, scanning. So all this we need to go through. Keeping a notebook. If you keep the notebook, that will help you. Exploring the personal preference using past project relevant trees and brainstorming concept and mapping all you can use to be develop your so what is a good topic if you decide which topic you want to do research is very difficult sometimes because you have so many ideas to narrow down them so you need to think about the data availability the topic which you want to choose the research you want to is it any data available second you look around the asset access to the data do you have access to the data like you want to be investigate the government institution and their internal processes so no one really allow you to do and do a research on it is create a problem you maybe recently heard about one of the student from one of university in the uk went to the bay and do research on the ministries and then they've been caught and they said, no, you're getting some secret data and that creates a lot of you know, conflict. So we need to be, be careful when we'll decide the topic, you know, the access to the data. Time available. So you don't have a time available. If you choose a topic and you don't have a data, how you will access it, it create a problem for you. So always we need to look around. Availability of resources. Do you have a manpower? Do you have yourself resources in terms of time, cost? Always we need to look around the money. Capabilities and skill. We did ever research. We have an idea about research. If not, so we need to be we need to be very careful. And uh, potential research outcome. What really you want to be achieve out of the research? Okay. Any questions? No. Okay, so what is the history of the topic you need to look around? Research question you need to decide. I set up, you know, it's a, so many slides, but it's just a matter of if you want to go in details, you can as well. So like a question can be job recruitment via internet. Your objective, how effective recruitment for the new staff via internet? Uh, Future of trade union and what are the strategies that the union can use? So these are the questions. So you need to look around how we'll do and what we'll want to be achieved. So when you do research, so research M can be to investigate. Welcome. So research M's can be investigate, inquire, comment, explore, explain, and study. So when you say you, to to investigate the prices in the supermarket, you, know, you want to inquire about something, you want to examine or you want to explore. So you can use the proverb those before you know actually you write the question. Why have an organization introduced the team briefing? Research objective to introduce organization objective for team briefing scheme. So these are the different questions. So please, when you do research, you need to be focus on how we do always use the command word. So that will help you to be structure your research question appropriate and proper. Okay, any question? No. So that's all about the LO1. LO1 is all about the research objective, what really we want to do in research. LO2 is the literature. So you have an objective, we want to explore about the pricing, we want to compare the pricing between supermarkets. So now you need a literature for it. So literature can be online, literature can be on the pricing strategies in the books, and literature can be in journals. Literature, so always we need to find the literature. So LO2B, uh, 
critically review the literature of the business research. So you need to find the literature on any particular topic or the research objective which you want to because the literature will help you to develop the understanding. So reviewing the literature, learning objective, always we need to look around the comprehend, appropriate way to construct your literature view, understand the connection between the literature and the research objective. Recognize that develop your critical power of review and able to combine, abstract the concept and integrate the conceptual framework. Always we need to look around the literature. Where we can find the literature? Okay, literature is theoretical, contextual, technical. Use all these three uh, where the, this is a help. There is a no requirement to exclude other publications. So we need to make sure you know the literature. Refer to the journal. Yes, we can reference uh, conference paper we can use. So we can use the edited collection, referred work, unreferred work, trade press, textbook, all we can use. Always go through when you do the literature objective. Objective one, like in our research, we have a three objective to achieve. So you need the literature around these three objectives. Anybody, any question? No. Okay. So next. No, LO3. LO1 is set the objective. LO2 is the literature. LO3 is which method you use, which methodology you use. This is very, very important. Of course, literature is also important, but method, which method you will use. There are the lot of technique, lot of research method you can use it. But you make sure the link with your objective. If objective can be achieved easily, by doing secondary research, why we'll go for the primary? So you need to look around what really you want to be. So if we look here, anybody heard about research onion? Like in an onion, we have a do so many different layers, yes? So yes. All we need to be look around the research onion technique, which is given by and so we need to be look around the which method you want to be use. You want philosophy, you want approaches, you what strategies, what choices, time horizon, technique, procedure. So these are the different approaches. We're not going through in detail, but that method you can use, you can explore about. So research philosophy is an overarching term relating to the development knowledge the nature of the knowledge, relate the development of the knowledge and nature of the knowledge and contain important exemption about the way in which you know you view the world because everybody looking the world in different ways. Okay, so there are two main approaches. Research approaches can be deduction or induction. So theories or hypotheses are developed. You want to develop some theories uh, hypothesis mean the question, research question. Action approach are you collect the data, a theory developed from the data analysis. So you collect the data and then your data analysis will help to ha develop the theory. So that's approach you can use, you can set your, and you can say which one you will use. Any question? No. Okay, next is a sampling terminology sample. What is meant by sample? Sample is a small part of total population. We don't, if we want to do a research, we can't do whole UK research. We can take sample in each county, in each, you know, area, and then we can test them, their views. And then, of course, you know, we can make a final conclusion from it. So sample population is a whole population, population element census. So population is a total collection of element about which we wish to make some inferences and any group, uh, complete group people, sale, territory are stores. Census, which is we count every individual in the census. Normally in the UK we have a census after every 10 years. So we count how many people we have and we count each individual. Okay, sampling the process of using So senses we we using the 
small proportion of sample. So like here, we have a population and you can pick the sample. Okay, when we use the background noise a bit okay sampling a valid alternative sensing when survey of entire population is impractical constraint data the time constraint and result so what we can do we can use the sample okay so we have different sampling method so guys we can use it okay welcome so we can use different sampling method uh, uh, under lo3 which we are discussing no method sampling we are discussing the research method research methodologies so we can use sampling can be probability sampling and non probability sampling what's come under the probability probability mean the chance of occurrence equal chances where we can say probability always from 0 to 1 so sample random stratified random sampling systematic cluster we can make the cluster like you know we'll say this age 10 to 15 is one cluster, this age group, the age group, this income group, the income group, so we can make a cluster. Non-probability sample, we can say 10 women, 10 male, 10 female, so thus, you know, we can. Are the convenience, anybody who will come on the way, the first, you know, we can use, our first 10 will use, so that's a convenient sample. So different, these are the techniques, are the sampling techniques we can use. So it's no hard and fast rule, you can pick any sampling technique, so this one of the separate lessons just on the research method which is on uh, on Moodle as well so guys please just go through the slide and you can uh, I'll show you the research proposal in LO4 that will help you and we can choose the okay next we have now questions so when we'll do research we need to decide the question and we need to maybe if you want to do primary research you need to develop the questionnaire what do you think can we ask the age age question how old are you how much you are can we ask the first question anybody what do you think can we ask the question personal nature of question first no don't go the question, the personal nature question, our individual question, that will be, how old are you? What's your income? So these are the questions, you give the income group. Don't ask the personal nature question in first place. So always be careful, I'll show you. Uh, question is a formalized set of question, obtain the information which we can object. Objective, of course, what we really want to be, that's all being question design process. Like you will see there, we want to do a question about the store ranking and you can rank them which store is the best. We need to put in a proper order those questions, telephonic interview, we can use the we can use the liquid scale one to ten. You can say good or bad or preferred or not preferred or great preferred preference you have in these stores so different ways you can ask the question make sure you know it's meet with the when we do the we can do the electronic question nowadays of course you know the google form i'll show you as well how many gallon of the soft drink did you consume during the last four weeks so that's the incorrect we can say how often do you consume soft drink in a typical week less than once a week one to two times per week four to six times per week or seven to so now we are giving options so we can say and the people can pick you know which one is applied to them okay so then uh, like you will see the question uh, in the list of the follower please check all department which you purchase the merchandise on the most recent shopping trip Store, so we're looking and what you bought, and you can pick the option we can give to the respondent. Okay, sometimes we can use the word definitely will not buy, probably will not buy, undecided, which I'll go through the question. Okay, sometimes maybe we use yes, no, don't know. Sometimes people say 100% they know. Uh, yes, do you intend to buy a new car within next six weeks? 
सिक्स मंथ सिक्स वीक यस डेफिनेटली नो आई डोंट नो यट सो समाइम वी कैन डिजाइन डिजाइन द क्वेश्चन डू यू इंटेंड टू बाय न्यू कार विद इन definitely will not buy probably will not buy undecided probably will buy or uh, definitely will buy so five is definitely will buy so you can give which brand of shampoo do you use maybe we can ask uh, same question which brand are the brands of shampoo have you personally used at home during last month so in case more than one brand so please list all so we can give them option open question close question do you think distribution of soft drink is adequate do you think the soft drinks are readily available when you want to buy them so no yes and no maybe you can or uh, you can list them okay so in typical month how of, uh, how do you shop in departmental store never occasionally sometime often regular or maybe you can is a good ways you can design this question less than once one to twice but two times three to four times in a week or more than that so in this way you can look around the questions please is a lot of you know the question being given in these slide so please just go through all these slides okay any any question anybody any question okay i set up list sample questionnaire for you this we all someone we already use if we want to explore about the customer satisfaction level in the fast food market maybe we can set you know the list of questionnaire like this questionnaire you can chain and you can set up according to your area of research what is your overall level of satisfaction with this fast food so very satisfy some would satisfy some what satisfy are very dissatisfy if you had a opportunity so likely would you recommend this fast food to your friend or relative so you will be giving them little option so somebody can pick the option and then we can survey the result as well how likely would you be visit this fast food outlet again so we are giving the option to compare the fast food outlet would you say the quality of the food you receive from the fast food chain is much better now you are comparing how often do you visit once a month once a week once how much do you spend we not saying how we not saying asking specific we are saying less than 20 you can give them group you can make a cluster of it and it's good to be asking of uh, as staff who provide the service you can rate them strongly and at the top be careful the people in different culture one can be good in some one culture maybe seven can be bad in some culture so always look around the cultural elements as well because different people have different perception one and seven and different so clearly label them at the top as well if you don't do it it's create a problem uh, has good location accessibility of this fast as the staff willing to all time to help you we are discussing about the service quality make customer feel secure in the fast food what you think about environment always good quality food how you rate them as the staff who never charge wrongly yes if charge wrongly i agree not i agree uh, strongly agree has comfortable furniture yes if you want to ask you know the infrastructure or uh, the qualities or the fixture and fitting those were appropriate and if you want to know the gender male and female so they can tick the box or maybe you can add don't don't want to say maybe the people have extended so what is your age group so that's the way don't ask the specific what is your age which age group you belong to because we don't need that specific their age we want to be explore about which age group what they do and are they satisfied with this this service so we can create the questionnaire we can distribute the questionnaire through via different channels and then we can get the result from you can do personal self administrative question okay anybody any question no okay next hello four is actually you making a proposal or actually you're doing the research both is fine because the proposal leads to research okay research proposal and examination of service quality 
first course we want to do that's the topic we and uh, the contents of course you can divide your research proposal into introduction yes why really you need to be explore about the service quality because it's a competition service quality is very important customer leads to customer satisfaction customer satisfaction lead to the loyalty when the customer loyal they will buy more goods from us they will stay longer and i am of this research and examination of service quality and customer satisfaction objective we want to explore the literature on service quality we want to develop the understanding about service quality link with the customer satisfaction and the loyalty we want to draw the conclusion and we want to develop understanding that those can be objective literature yes we can find the literature on service quality customer satisfaction customer loyalty so that can be under the literature review methodology yes we can discuss about research on an induction deductive approach or we can say primary secondary quantitative qualitative research and then we can use the methodologies and then we can collect the data finding and they are through the questionnaire primary secondary research then we can draw the finding how many people are agree disagree happy with the quality of the food or not so then these are the finding then we can draw the conclusion and then we can recommend you know what we'll do in the future research it can rely our research or not so that's all and then of course you know the references and all okay is always good to be used the gan chart what activities and when you will do gan chart ethics always you know need to keep in mind ethics ethics is very important dpa data protection act don't disclose the information always uh, don't ask the question from the less than 18 year old get the prior permission from their parents uh, yes you have you need to fill always ethical form if you were in the university the all university need to be filled because you know that create a problem end of the and any ethical issues so now i'm going to show you some proposals so to address this learning outcome well i i will ask you know the raman to upload these as well for you so you can So analyze the impact of decline number of international student in the UK in UK and in and far far from the industry not properly the wording but you can set it uh, so we can look around we can make the table of contents we can divide like I, I earlier mention you so introduction you will see there the little bit introduction this first chapter will explain. how the term and the concept used throughout the research uh, then what will be really you want to do research uh, in this is all been discussed then giving some background knowledge in the chapter 1 aims and objective in the chapter 1 chapter 1 is all about the aims and objective of the research Okay. Any question? No. Okay. So that you will see the aims and objective. The aim of uh, this research to analyze the impact of decline in the number of international student and fast food outlet like restaurant takeaways and cafe. Or you can go through the specific you want in a more recent uh, sorry in McDonald, KFC, or Burger King. Maybe you can pick three. The objective of set achieved aims is can be conducted. through the literature review on international student examine the reason of decline and analyze the impact on the workforce in the food industry due to the lack of international student investigate the impact on the sales of the food sector uh, to make the recommendation so that can be the rationale behind why we want to do this research you can discuss relevance of this research summary and then of course you know you can go through the chapter or to where the literature review on these things you can find you will see there a lot of literature we have uh, and then you can go through research method yes the chapter 3 which is such technique you will use methodology is been primary can be exploratory research and qualitative quantitative research tool you will data collection a uh, primary research secondary research like mention 100 people you know the respondent 100 question will be distributed 
in the primary research and the sample size always go through the sample size need to be reasonable to achieve your research objective data analysis yes which method there are the different like maybe you use mean mode arithmetic mean or various other the median or the chi scale but some statistics tools we can use if most of the people are agree a median in the middle what average people are saying you know so we have a hundred people's views what average people are saying out of hundred so we can calculate the mean as well and then the result of course we can go through the result and the result can be present into different form like a graph a pie chart or line graph ethical consideration which we can limitation of the this research this research we did in only one area maybe future research and can't be applied throughout the uk because we not look at other areas maybe this research can be used or further research could enhance so all being discussed and the gantt chart you know when we'll do like you will see here so the research areas literature review research methodology quantitative quantity discussion conclusion introduction bibliography so all this is different times you can give start and finish date so we call gantt chart so that's all about the research proposal which we will address our lo4 lo4 is all about the research proposal which you can make where we can address our literature reviews and all anybody any question no it's clear okay so please we most of us we have a uh gmail account yes yes okay when you have a gmail if you click you know here little little box there in the gmail these three dots can you see on my screen where Where? Can you see now my screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can see. Yes. Yes. Give me a minute. If you click here, this these you know dots in your mailbox. Yes. Okay. It shows if you carry on going down, say more, and say more and more. That will take you to all the. Google functions. Mm -hmm. If you carry on, if you carry on down, 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 here will comes one uh, one high Google form. Yes. Just one second. Where is it? If you look in these, it should be. It's called forms. Oh, sorry. Where is it? Can you see forms somewhere? Forms. Uh, Google form, 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 form. Yes, yeah, you will see their forms. Can you see? Hello. Yes. Yeah, there is. There is. There is. You can see. Yes. Yeah, so if. You if you click there okay and uh, if you click into the personal form yes first post yes and you can open one simple new form yes yes i already prepared some form so i can go through the which those i already prepared yes yes so when you click here your the form will be done okay okay you can set your research topic which is like i set it here an examination of service quality mm -hmm. yes then underneath you can set the research question yes you can prepare the question like what is your satisfaction level of coffee so this is your plus sign you can add as many questions you want yes? okay okay good then i said it one is a bad and 10 is a good yes yes so if i want to one more question so click here and write 
first pose what is your age group yes or which age group you belong to i'll say 15 to 20 yes i'll maybe yes. say 20 to 25 i'll maybe say 25 to 30 mm -hmm. i'll maybe say 30 to 35 or uh, maybe I'll say one more or more, okay? Because maybe you not fall in this age group, but you fall 40 plus, 50 plus, yes? Yes. So you can easily tick the box, yes? No, yes. when I, I'll make it this, I can save this question, I can lock it, yes? Mm -hmm. So this question can be locked, nobody can change my question, yes? Yes. If you if you want same if you want other question maybe you want to use the Likert scale all the boxes there yes like you know okay. one is a, ten is a bad or drop boxes good bad yes whatever okay. are multiple choice you want to give them yes okay so you can pick anything from here yes like here I want to explore about satisfaction level yes. So one I'll say, one is, I'll say good, yes. Five, I will say bad, yes. So now yes. this my question, I'll lock in, this my question will be saved, yes. So anybody yes. can pick it now, say one or five, yes, good and yes. bad. Yes. So when I'll finish all, and I can, if I'll click here, send, yes. Okay. Yeah. So click send and you can send to anyone. I first suppose you can and that can be goes in their mailbox. Yes. And when they reply, when they fill these questions, yes. Yes. Or you can if you click here. You know this this your link at the top is creating a link yes yes you can copy in your facebook yes and you can say your friends please can you reply you know these questions i'm doing research yes okay great yes yes yes, yes. When, when they reply you will get your result here okay. yes and okay. the graph will be created automatically okay okay and that graph you can copy in your uh research yes and you uh, you can discuss about how many they are agree disagree mm -hmm. and that's data analysis okay and uh, we can do manually also manually yeah, yeah. Oh, yes you can do manually it's no hard and fast rule yes we can see the we we interact the customer it's based on the industry where we work and uh, you know we, we can take manual like in a manual form the all the survey and you can do manually you can add the we can add the result here and we can get the, the same format, right? Yes? Yes, that's okay. absolutely fine because it's the same question I'm giving you. I'm sending yes. I'll upload as well. Good, good. Uh, yes. Which you can, so that's the manually mm -hmm. prepared questionnaire and same questionnaire you can prepare the electronically as well. Exactly, yes, yes, yes. Good, good. Okay. So Perfect. then, of course, you can use average, average how many people in this question they are agree or Yes, Any yes. tool you can use, whatever you like. Huh? Okay, okay, good. Any question, anyone? Not so far, it's fine. It's fine. Yes. Okay, great. So, so, today lesson we learn about the basic technique of research, uh, advanced research methods. So, we discuss about how we can set aims and objectives. We discuss about how we can explore the literature. We discuss about research only and different methodologies we can use. And uh, we discuss data analysis methods. We discuss about how we can draw the conclusion recommendation and how we can make the proposal uh, for the research as well. So that's all about uh, uh, this unit. So each part, LO1, LO2, LO3, all is all the slides separately available. And this combined slide will be on Moodle as well. If you have any question, feel free to drop me email. Uh, okay. 
Yes, in the, in the model, uh, before actually we used to get the assignment brief in a very uh, you know proper format, uh, so that we can go and we can we can see that, that if any any you know the learning objectives are missed or not. So you have any any file like this here? I didn't see any assignment format in the model. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload this research proposal for you as well, so as a sample, okay. and. Uh, We'll go back to your uh, Moodle. Okay. So, is I'm, in LM, I'm in LMS actually. Sorry? I am in the LMS the, for the ATHC. The, I, I'm using the, I have in the LMS actually. Before it was Moodle, but now in LMS. Okay. So, okay. Uh, this is all about, yes, task one. Okay. That's your actual your assignment, yes? Yes. It means you're making a proposal. Proposal can be 3500, which will address all the learning outcome. Okay, good. So I'm, I'm giving you a few proposals, yes? Yes. You can change as, as you want, yes? Because, you know, it depends which area and what sort of topic you want. But that yes. gives you basic understanding, yes? The instructor only, yes. The instructor that's what we have to do, yes. So that's the structure and the last, last my slide within these, you know, the two day lesson as well, I included. So that's yes. a proposal because LO4 is all about the proposal because in LO4, yes. all LO, uh, other LO will be addressed, you know, all the learning outcome. Yes. 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 You will okay. see there what, you know, the proposal is can be introduction and the objective chapter two literature, chapter yes. three. Apologies, it's come finding a uh, conclusion. If you want to divide them into chapters, it's entirely up to you. And yes. then recommendation are the references. Huh? So okay. all these are put in the slide so that we can. Okay. And I've been explained it separately and some reproposal and the questionnaire will be separately available on Moodle. Okay, good. Great, so any question? It's mm -hmm. fine, thank you. Okay, so we'll keep up to here. So, hope so. See you some point. So, have a nice time. And this Thank recording will be available on Moodle as well. Huh? Sure, sure, sure. And this, okay. please, uh, can you send an email the, the video the, to the audio? Because I missed around 25 minutes in the beginning. I was late today. Okay, no no problem, of course. Yeah, my name, is, my name is Deepak. Deepak, okay? From uh, okay. Dubai. Dubai. No. I will send you and uh, you will get all in mail. Huh? Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a nice weekend.